the the glow has come back ten folds again, and and it's it's beautiful. The performance, I loved it. In fact, especially the reach scenes when she was high and dancing, all those scenes just give me goosebumps. Really. Okay. For, how does it feel to be a part of the Society of Achievers magazine cover? Thank you, Sachin, for a lovely introduction. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, before I begin, I must tell everybody, I have a long association with Magna Publication and Nari Hira, sir, and, um, and Ashokji. So it's been, thank you for putting me up in the cover of Society Achievers cover. It's a huge, huge uh, honor uh, because uh, they're very particular about whom they choose and they didn't put me on a cover before <laughs> and they put, uh, put me on a right time when it was well deserved, right? <laughs> so it, it's, it speaks uh, a lot about their choosiness and their authenticity of, you know, so thank you. Uh, I would consider this is as a part of a labor of love for me because I put in my heart and soul for Hira Mandi and in return I received so much of love and blessings from everyone and this is one of the blessings I received. So thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, some more questions about Hira Mandi. As we all know, the season two is coming now, and we're very, very happy and excited to watch season two. I think it's going to be, I think, a year maybe from now onwards. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed that we will see you again. And season two. Okay, first, how is it like stepping into the role, and uh, what do you want to explore in season two? Now, there's so much that you've explored in season one. We don't know, uh, you know, season two when is going to happen. So can't speak about that, but let me speak about season one. I mean, sure. what we did. So it's phenomenal to work with Sanjay Leela Bhansali, as I have said it before, and everybody who's worked with him has said it before. Uh, he's a master of his craft, and uh, the level of um, passion and commitment he has it only inspires everybody around him. And for me, it was so timely because I'm also, uh, I would say. After doing 100 films, after, after being part of a beautiful film industry which has welcomed me with open arms and given me uh, space to shine and given me identity uh, in the world as an Indian film actor coming from Nepal. So I, I'm hugely grateful for it. I'm hugely, hugely grateful for it. And so for me it was really timely because you know, I've reached a stage where I feel if the project really drives something, passion and commitment or demands that from me, then I'll be part of it. I was happily gardening in Nepal, <laughs> you know, in my small little garden and all that. And when this came, I jumped and, you know, it's been such a beautiful experience working uh, with Sanjali Bansali and humongously talented co-stars. And by the way, uh, yes. I told you upstairs also, when I did a scene with him, though I did not recognize Sachin, uh -huh. I must say that, because when we worked, he was in a get-up. He had glasses, he had topi, and you know, yes. but I was already briefed by Sanjay, saying that, Manisha, be on your toes, you are going to be working with really serious performers. Uh, you thank know, you. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, all my co-stars in Hira Mandi were fabulously talented and hardworking, and uh, I feel it's a Hira Mandi family. More than anything else, there's so much of love, so much of hard work, so much of affection. Of course, there's, you know, when a big, huge team comes along, there is ups and downs. That's part of the life, I, you know, but then there's so much of love and affection and we all wanted to shine in that project. So, and we were given given that platform. Yes. So, yeah. With a singular goal to make Hira Mandi the best thing possible ever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Great, great. I'm glad you were a part of it. I think nobody else could have played that role except for you the way you did it. 
Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank some, you. you know, some roles are meant for some people. Like I cannot see anybody else except for Manisha doing that role now. I'm, the way I saw her. And, would you guys agree on that? Yes. Yes. I think people will agree completely. In, you thank know, you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and also, Manisha, you've been a huge advocate of women's health. You know, always been talking about women's health. What do you think are the three most important things that women should do? You know, or make them a part of your life, their lifestyle. Uh, what would you advocate there? So what I've always seen, I've seen it in my family, I've seen growing up, I've seen around, you know, that women normally are excellent caregivers because uh, whether it's a mother, whether it's a wife or somebody, whenever it's, um, somebody falls sick, it's the women who actually look after the person who's fallen. And I really want to talk to the women that first you need to focus on your own health on your own well-being, be responsible towards your health and take ownership of your health. And uh, yes, uh, you must look after uh, people that you love. You must look after your you know, people around you and everything. But don't forget yourself in the bargain. You know, and uh, prioritize your health. Because, you know, health is everything. If there is health, then, you know, we can do anything. We can do anything. जितना भी पैसा हो, जितना भी फेम हो, जितना भी सब कुछ हो, but if you don't have health, we really can't enjoy this life. So prioritize your health. And in that, I think uh, the three things which come to my mind immediately is body, mind, spirit. You know, because body, mind, spirit is interconnected, intertwined, and dependable. The very like, how is your mood? If you're depressed, if you're sad, it's gonna reflect on your body as well. So just keep that in mind that our, my, my mood is not detached to my body. So to keep a healthy body, the mood also should be happy and in a good space. So should be your mind, so should be your spirit. You know, whichever path you believe or you're a non-believer, doesn't matter. But you know, even a non-believer believes in the nature. So something you cling on to larger than yourself and uh, enjoy this life, enjoy this health, enjoy this beautiful opportunity that we have uh, being alive in this planet. True, true. Be a part of nature. That's the only blessing we have. Let's not spoil it. Let's maintain it. Let's grow with it. Be connected to it, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Manisha, there's so many, you've been a part of so many films, such beautiful roles you've done, which have been, you know, etched on in our lives forever. Uh, what do you, what would you advise youngsters who would want to be a part of this industry, you know? So, I always say this, um, don't go for the fluff. Go for, if you really, really, really passionately love acting, love cinema, love any technical aspect of it, just go for it then no matter whatever hurdles you're facing, you will sail through it. You will put in the hard work, you will put in the hours, and you will still be joyful because this is what you love to do. But if you are going for the fluff, that means you're constantly, your focus is not on what you're doing. You're, you're always focused about, oh, the glamour, oh, the money, oh, this. So uh, if you're going for the fluff, you're going in for the wrong reason. That will become your byproduct of the passion and the love that you have for your profession that you choose. So choose wisely. Absolutely, absolutely. Very well said. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Manisha. A big round of applause for her once again. Thank you. you know. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, before we wrap up the evening, we would like to take a moment to facilitate some achievers from various fields. They've been a big help to society during the pandemic itself. Hence, we would like to honor them. Who better than Manisha to do honor them herself? Okay, can I request uh, Dhanesh Jiraji to please come on stage? The well known entrepreneur, designer Mumbai's high end fashion store, Just Men, who's been featured in the issue as well. Dhanesh Shedha, big round of applause for him. There he is, looking dapper inspiring individuals whose dare to do spirit makes them nothing short of legendary. 
business icons, film stars, sports heroes, political leaders, artists, chefs, spiritual and wellness gurus. Society Achievers has them all. And so we're excited to have you all here as we unveil the latest issue here today. Without further ado, can I call the legendary man himself, Mr. Nari Hira on stage with a huge round of applause, please. The one and only Nari Hira, please join us. I just have, good to always have you and always standing next to you is always a pleasure. And Mr. Ashok Dhamankar himself is already here, director, magnet publication. The editor of Society Achievers, Andrea Costabay. Big round of applause for her. And a very special guest this evening, the ever gorgeous. You know who that is? <laughs> Manisha Koyala. Big, big, big round of applause for her. Welcome, Manisha. Thank you so much. Her name is synonymous with grace, talent, and resilience. With a career spanning over three decades, she's captivated audiences with her remarkable performance in films like Bombay, we'll say, 1942, a love story, Kamoshi, or Nisakshi, Indian, to name but a few. Most recently, she dazzled us with a stellar performance as Malika Jan in the Netflix series, Gira Mandi. I wish I played a small role also, which she couldn't even recognize me in fact, but I had to tell her this, is, this was me wearing specs and a hat and that. And I think Prowess has rightfully earned her numerous accolades, including several awards for Best Actress. A big round of applause for her once again. Thank you for gracing us today, Anisha. A powerhouse in every sense, she has shown immense strength and determination through personal struggles and reclaimed his place, her place in the spotlight. Anisha's journey is a testament to her spirit and a commitment to her craft. She continues to be a role model for many, proving that with resilience and passion, anything is possible. Please put your hands together for her resilience and Hira Mandi, has, <laughs> which we all love. Okay, uh, a small uh, felicitation for Manisha, for Mr. Nari Hira. Okay, first we'll unveil the magazine first and then we'll do all that. Okay, so we go on the side with the latest issue where Manisha is on the cover of the magazine. So let's unveil it. Nari Hira, Sir, Andrea, 